extra nice. Prepare for rivals. So we're in boys. Oh, go ahead. Oh, for fuck's sake, not again. Let's go. Right. Toggle baguette munchers blue. Toggle baguette blue. Toggle love and devotion red. The crack castle. You can see it, can't you, Bob? Okay, indeed. Yeah, what I was saying just before it actually kicked off. <laughs> Liam just shared the stream on a, a Discord for you. Want it? Camera? No, no. I can literally hear that through my headset. Sorry. Sorry for the distraction, guys. Me being terrible, as per you. <laughs> right, you should recognise some of these names as well, shouldn't you, Liam? Uh, Liam, Bob. We've got the Bubbles on, on Love and Devotion. Worst player ever. Although, oh. can we say that when Broken Vortex is on the team? Oh, I don't know, Cle yeah, I know. Clearly worse. <laughs> yeah. Let's say they're fighting over that spot. Crazy, how are you doing, bud? Right, so there is no Sally out by the looks of it from Love and Devotion. They're pulling back mainly to the end point with the majority of their units. So they're just going to try getting some use out of the wall art. The gets are actually really spread out. Like, I've done a few of the scrims on this map against quite a few of the teams this week. And basically, everyone just started at the gate just in case a Sally out, probably. And then if there was no Sally out or the Sally out was defeated, then you'd move around them, like get the, the side towers moving. But the baguette munchers just looked like they were like, nah, they're not going to Sally out and uh, spread out already. A couple of sneaky jewel blades up and no one's noticed. Hmm, on the side here. Furbs are in, Black Death and Watch did loot. Furbs that picked up a jewel blade again. Also a terrible player, though, to be fair. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Jim didn't even look. notice, look. <laughs> How long can Jewel Blade stay invincible, uh, invincible, invisible for then? Just, like, literally forever? Uh, like I think it's a, their main, the main one, if you don't do any moves or anything, I think it's like 30 seconds. Verb's getting hunted, but he's probably going to be able to escape. Yeah, he's gone. Right, so they're up on the wall there. They've got the Siege Towers in. Love and Devotion are probably going to pull back to the end point now already. Let's have a look at units. So the bands on this one were Shenji's and... Falconetti's, I want to say. Check. Toby, how are you doing, bud? I literally played some matches with Burt Raccoon before as well, Bob, when I was streaming earlier. Oh, really? Yeah, he like joined into the channel. I was like, get it fucking installed. And he's like, nah, I was like, shut up and get it installed. <laughs> 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 and then he did the update and he'd like, I literally seen it popped up when I was in a battle. He's like, all right, I'll invite him. We'll do some matches. He's like, no, 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 no. I was like, shut up, you do matches now. <laughs> Good. Good. Yeah, I miss that dude. I don't know if I've, I've been able to convince him though to move to a EU one with us. We'll see. I, he's gonna, I think he might play some matches tomorrow with me. Well. If you want to play in the morning tomorrow, Bob, feel free. Uh, what time? It'll be sometime before... I'll probably be on for quite a while, though, but it'll probably be sometime before lunch is when I start. I may be about. I'm pretty sure it's Chen Juzen. I just saying I thought Bob died loads. That's only you, Header. Oh, here's a story for you. If anybody doesn't notice, I went over this before, but Jack Vultures has disbanded as a team in the tournament. And Hedda's made his own team. And I gave him the perfect name for a team and he refused to take it. He said it was too Mimi. Can you believe that? No substring. 
I'll just uh, listen. Listen, right. We'll let everyone else decide in the chat which is the best name. I'll go to the the, the team registration quick. Nothing's happening at the moment, so don't worry, guys. I'll we'll get to it. <laughs> the headers team's called Sloth Blockers, and my suggestion was My Little Ponies, and he was having none of it. <laughs> Yeah, unfortunately, people don't know a good name when it comes to <laughs> Toby, Bob's here. He's in, he's in chat with me. Three minute delay, though. So, three minute delay again, I'll write in chat. Right, so it looks like the Baguette Muncher is going to start moving in on the end point. So, I quite like how Love and Devotion have got set up here. They've got quite a lot of guys in the, the safe zone back here, look. I'll send that's only two guys. Okay. Got a free hero. They're kid, playing away from trips, nice. aren't they? That's, that's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like blocking here, and then they've got a, a little bit of presence on the back, so they've got time to rotate, I think, is the plan. Got Papa and Names Gym up on the wall as well. Their units aren't on the wall. Okay. But this was on uh, last season, there was a very strong position to defend from completely Treb safe, innit? Yeah. There was a lot of cataphracts on the field, though. We're getting them. And that only two. What have they got? They got flames out? They don't have flames. They've got Zakalian though. Two sets of cataphracts and a outrider, interestingly enough. Tercios could do some work. Yeah, Javelins, yeah. palace guards. They've got Javelins their axe good raiders. Unit, yeah. Very good harassing you, but Axe Raiders flames. Where are the flames? I'm gonna assume they're probably here. There they are. I'm thinking they're on maybe like around the corner, but there they are. Club Outrider froze getting over the wall. King just went off on B. Nothing's pushing this side bit back here. Their own outriders. That's two sets of outriders. The unit's not there. That's two sets of outriders. Okay. We've got Zakalian up here as well to just bomb stuff down there. Because they're waiting for a push though. If they start bombing them now, they can just heal up all the time. What what they get waiting for though? They're not like they're not climbing the walls here or anything. They're not climbing here. They're not like pressure in anywhere. They're not doing any like feints or anything. Make a uh, love and devotion after the rotate, which is really strange. The Ferb's going in now, so he's probably going to try getting rid of the the Kalian. I don't know if Overlook's going to be able to stop him, but you got Bubbles and Kizu down here, and there's a Kalian down there as well. So okay, Over Overlook must have seen Ferb's to go through the tunnel. That is a good bomb throw though, straight on the Madar. Yeah. Ooh, they're moving out with their outriders, H and K and Ilak. Interesting that they're not moving in though. Axe throwers are throwing round the corner already, but are they actually gonna move in or they're just throwing axes? Crank for you, right. thanks to the follow my dude. Or two crank for you. That long sword's just gonna nullify any damage their max throwers do from a distance. Mm hmm Bamberino you mean? Oh, and yeah. Nami. Looks like they're going to start looking to go for the back supply. I wonder if they'd have had like Tercios on this supply here. They would have been at a nuke that hero as he went up the wall. But I think. Oh, he's jumped on the Zakalian though. He's got rid of all bar two. So he's laughing. Now he just jumps off the wall. Mission, mission accomplished. Looks like Baguette Munchers are actually going to start moving now, though. Are they going to go for the point or are they going to go for the back supply? I don't think going this way and actually taking a fight is a good idea. Looks like they're going to do it, though. Interesting. So they've got their own Zakalian throwing bombs. The flames from Love and Devotion are going to be absolutely disgusting in this fight, though. As long as they Wolf, Silent, and Dio just jumped over, but I think... Love and Devotion have seen it. There's a Glaive jumped in as well, though. Gonna get a cap off there. There's, there's no push going in on the backside as well. Yeah, just two, two dual blades where they pushed it. I think Love and Devotion have crushed that. Are the flames dead, though? I don't see any flames going off, so the flames must be dead. So they tried getting cataphracts through as well. Didn't really work out, though, because it went through the big blob. Second unit of cataphracts come in there. Hmm. Very, very well played from Love and Devotion on that thing. They lost... Oh no, they didn't lose more. Okay. 
obviously 14 to 8 heroes as a difference as well. Sloth block. It's sloth block. <laughs> There's a discussion going on in chat how what the name's called for, for Hedda's new team. My Little Ponies. Make it happen, boys. <laughs> Dead. Yeah, I said, why don't you just call the team Deader? And he's like, nah, I can't call it Deader. And then I was like, My Little Ponies. And then I'd literally get like, you know, the My, My Little Ponies theme song. And then every time they fight a match, I'd just have the My Little Ponies theme song playing for a little bit. And he was like, nah, I can't do that. It's too meme. And there's like, the team wouldn't take it seriously. I was like, how'd it be like that? Looks like they've come straight in on the end point as well. Love and Devotion have got barely any units here, though. Blackwing might die here. Oh, no, he managed to get away. Oh, right, Love and Devotion have got their units back. I was going to say, that would be rough, man, if they don't have any units to stop this. Looks like they're going to be able to get into a position as well to stop them in a Reb safe area. Iron Reapers have gone in. There's Javelins in the back line, though, on the stairs here. Get Munchers doing work. Them Flames are going to do absolute... God's work on there. They just need to stop the, the heroes jumping over on top of them. Get a different angle on it, it looks like. There's nothing moving up into the north on the minimap. So it's all uh, concentrated on the end point here. Right, yeah. They try to get through though. Dio's, Dio has got through. That two sets of houndsmen on the end point. Oh, they've got through though. Look, the front line's crushed them. The one, the, one or two of their heroes must have got through to get rid of the flames, otherwise they would have actually got crushed there. Yeah, yeah. Love need They've to got push enough to reinforcements in there. Yeah. They've done it, though. The archers back here, was that just one set of grey? Uh, it was two sets of hounds. And then obviously they've got Tercio. No, the Tercio players died. They've got Jabs as well, so Love and Devotion are clearing the point again now, so it's 13-7 again, heroes-wise. Back here, Elak and H and K pushed out with their outriders, I think it was. Yeah. And they're going after a couple of hero kills. I wonder if they're gonna contest the resupply a little bit just to be a bit of a pain in the ass. Love and devotion are pushing completely out. They need to be careful here though, because if they push too far they can get trebbed here. No, 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 you can't. The, I think he, like one yeah, hits. Yeah? No, like one hits. It's not a very good trebbing place in front of the gate either. Right, but they've. Yeah, 200. 100, let's say 150 unit difference. We'll have a look at the heroes. It, I'm pretty sure Love and Devotion are definitely winning the hero fight. Yeah, 24 to 7. Definitely winning the hero fight. Go, go, baguette, garonga. <laughs> and we've got Morza Kaylin up on the top here. So from Namer's Gym. The right hand side. Yeah, name is Jim's got the Zakalian out. There are no flames for defenders anymore. The attackers don't have flames on this push either. Numbers wise, there should be enough for two more pushes. Although probably the second one after that's just going to be trash unit. They have to do something special here. Do you know what? Why have baguette munchers completely ignored this this supply? Yeah, it was back? only two set. It was only two sets of outriders. If you'd if they'd fully yeah. pushed that, they could have had a supply. Even like on both pushes, like the second one, instead of going this way, they could like faint it here now and then like push that way quick. Or the first one, instead of just going straight through, gone round here. If they get that point and Love and Devotion have to fight them here as they come through, that's all trebable. Yep. They would have done a lot better on the engagements. Right, so they're well, pushing yeah, it again from the draw, south. Even if you draw them back to the back supply, the back supply is trebable itself. So yeah. if, if they're hiding where it's not trebbed, you draw them to places where you can use them. Keshig's charging in. They've got Fort Brachio's movement. I don't know if they should have just waited there. What's they pushed up onto the top here? So they've got Palace Guards pushing down on um, Martel. All right, there's like Lands Knicks or Halberdia Sergeant. There. Love and Devotion are pushing them straight back out again, though. They need Oh, the Flames again. I thought they put the fl didn't have Flames anymore. Oh, name is Jim yeah. swapped. Okay, he had Zekalian up on the wall, and then for the push, he swapped down to, to Flames. Good play. They need to get Yeah, they got rid of the Polax that jumped on them. I think they've still got the majority of their Flames left. At least three models here. Should be enough to do work. They've got a couple of units up on the back wall here, Baguette, though. We've got Paladins blocking the stairs and Zakalian that's able to bomb down the whole time. So those Zakalian up on the wall are going to do work still. That could be a very good treb because the Outriders are running through. Oof. 
They were oh, all stacked fuck. right on top of each other there as well. Mozakalian's over here for the attackers. It is... Oh. Even it's that there. Oh, Tercio. Okay. Looks like they're actually getting onto the point now as well. Unit wise, yeah, it's but just mostly down heroes a bit. though. If you're looking at it, yeah. Well, it's units here. Halberd, oh, I said it's Halberdies and Matos. The Outriders from Love and Devotion are doing work though. How many sets of Outriders did they bring? There's a lot. <laughs> Six sets. Oh, that tread's good though. It's again just on Outriders though, and I think the guys that are using Outriders have got like cataphracts and stuff as well to use still so. And again, 12, 6 heroes. Somebody needs to get up here and clear these Zakalian out. So the hero that had the palace guards is dead. I think Wodge is the guy with the Zakalian. A couple of these heroes need to go up here and kill them though. If he respawns, or when he respawns, he can't just take him back out. Five minutes left of the fight. Them on a throw. But I don't know if they noticed them. Like, because in the middle of the fight, they maybe didn't see that they were uh, up there. Now, now they're retreating. Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah, they're not going to. I think they disappear by the time they get to the bottom of the stairs. Then my down might get a one or two. Oh, they started moving. <laughs> so slow. Right. They're pushing out here again. Unit wise, love and devotion actually have less now. Interesting. But they've lost less as well, so they should have more better units up. Yeah, they've got higher quality. There's a few grey units on baguette. Yeah. They've not all spawned in yet, but a lot of those have died. Let's have a quick look at death. Yes, yeah, so we've got a multiple of their heroes on four deaths already. Circus Wings, though, the longbow's on zero. I mean, he'll see the, the longest range uh, hero, so he's not going to be on the front line. Most deaths for Love and Devotion is for Ambient. And they're pushing in again, but heroes. Are they just trying to get rid of, like, Specialist units or like what are they what are they try to do here because they've not got any units. They've not got cataphracts either to just like run through and push two on And Like apart from Zakalian Love and Devotion don't really have any specialist units to go after they've only got three minutes 30 Completely cleared that again. Yeah, no, I, I think they've just uh, although they haven't got good holding units, they've got good killing units, so... Yeah, yeah. Extremely well played for Love and Devotion. Um, they've been scrimming a lot, and funnily enough, they've actually been scrimming against feudal teams as well. Like, literally against Surf Slayers, Rose and stuff. Um, and those were some rough fights, man. <laughs> well, but they've, you, but you, they've you learned a best, lot. You've got to play, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. But they've definitely learned... Which is very nice to see. I like that they're being aggressive as well. That's like one of the things we was talking about. Like off, often it's when you defend, it's too easy to just sit back and do nothing. But you need to jump on these opportunities where you can just jump out and get free kills on look like just, just heroes, clear a full unit of palace guards, get a couple of hero kills. Exactly what you need. They're not going after them though. They retreat. No point to go after. Just stay where they are. You, you know. You're playing for the win rather than just the tally. Yeah, a lot of a lot of teams would tally out now though. They've just got the advantage. I think Love and Devotion are just going to sit back and chill. Apart from one unit of cataphracts though on bubbles, it's not really. Oh, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't count that as him having a unit then. He's terrible. Yeah, he'll just find a wall and charge him into him. Here we go. Let's see what he can do. Oh, fight at the main gate. He's just charged them normally. They've been completely stopped. They're getting treb. Oh, Joe. Yeah. <laughs> Jim is dead as well. They, they haven't got time. Even if they get up to the base point, there's nothing that they can do now. Oh, the muskets should just be dropping caltrops, really, to just slow them down. GRZ here. It's just trolling. What's he doing? Playing equestrian simulator. Wolf Silence just jumped all the way through for the attackers, but again, they haven't got the units. They've got a set of Keshiks up, but against we got the units that are left, pikes like Pikes and yeah. stuff. The attackers? No, defense. Oh, oh, the defenders have got IPGs. There was just a walk going off as well. There's no way they're getting through. And they need 
a good while to actually cap as well. And they've cleared him, look again. 13-8. Very strong performance from Love and Devotion for the defense. It's going to be interesting to see what they choose for a tactic. I think Baguette's made the mistake of not going for this back supply. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Because they were fighting the whole time in areas that aren't trebable, and you need to right if you get the back supply and come from behind. You have if you fight here in the gateway, that's all trebable, and they if they defend deep, you can get onto the point. So you're laughing. Interesting. So forget munchers have just been completely wiped. Twenty seconds left to go. That's sixty-six hero deaths. Twenty-one. Is ridiculous. Uh, Ilak Mole player didn't die. It's Bufu didn't die. That was Kapan a fan H and K didn't die. Solid defense, but Bubbles got carried. Bubbles got carried. <laughs> it's gonna be interesting. I'll laugh if he's MVP now. <laughs> no, GLZ was thing. MVP. But very good play. GLZ, 166 units kills, 15 assists, five hero kills. He was obviously in the fight in free. Defs Kizu doing very well as well. 24 assists. Uncle Bambarino, 25 assists. All four of those over 100 uh, unit kills as well. Very well done. Where is Bubbles? Mid table. Broken heart. Ah. <laughs> but look at all the S ranks though, man. Oh, A plus and S ranks as well. Very well played. Um, it, was it was solid. It was very solid. No, yeah, and you uh... can see, look at. Apart from this one here, where what was that the third push, the third main fight, let's say, but get Munchers slightly did more unit work, like they killed a few more units. The Love and Devotion did, but the first two was a massive difference. The last one, as well, the, the heroes, the hero count is going to be massive there, isn't it? With like, like you said, with with how many of them didn't die, even if they did die in their last minute or so that's only a 10 so seconds